not umam kunu chasing out gonna nisa kicking out a cheating man what is stopping you from getting rid of that cheating man what's stopping you hi beautifuls you're so welcome to my channel mobile entertainment and if you are here for the first time please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any content that i post and if you're back for another one welcome back again you are family so hey fam <laughs> okay so i want us to get into this video i'm now going to um happily ever after or happily never after episode eight let's talk about it first of all guys hey bo Huh? What is this? What? I, you know the level of disrespect. But let's start from the beginning, right? We all know Ugozi Konanisa has, you know, a lot going on. Mam Tunu, first wife, right? And Lobola paid for her. Uh, not by Konanisa. Now that we we know, okay? Um, Lobola was paid for Mam Tunu by Konanisa's parents right and then Konanisa introduced the second wife um who samantha masbuko they have a child fast forward things are not happily ever after i did a reaction video on the previous episode on how uh samantha's cousin comes out and says hey i slept with your husband and i'm sorry it was a big mistake but also hey i'm pregnant if you want to see more on that watch the previous episode that i made a reaction on episode seven now we're in episode eight right konandisa now is um accompanying umam kuni remember in the previous episode that ended with samantha calling umam kuni to say I don't want to speak about this over the phone. I want you to be here and I want you to hear this from the horse's mouth. Mam Tunu comes, but she's with Gondanis. Guys, they get to Samantha's place. Samantha opens the door and when she sees Gondanisa, I mean, I trust that girl. <laughs> I trust her responses. I trust her character, like the person that she's. She opens the door, right? And she says, Well, Mam Tunu, we're going to have to have this conversation outside. Mam Tunu, why? Um, well, she says, You brought someone that I don't allow in my house. <laughs> to stand your ground so samantha is saying uguti kondanisa is not allowed in my house right but if you think about it kondanisa did the same thing to her when samantha went to visit kondanisa um kondanisa made her wait outside the gate he made his agree he's saying we'll see samantha is his wife right and you your wife comes to visit you you make your wife wait outside the gate while you go in, inside the house and your reasoning for that is i don't want you to see who's inside the house what are you, what are you ladies waiting for gorgeous beautiful ladies what are you waiting for why do you allow a man to disrespect you? We literally seeing this unravel in front of our eyes. So Samantha says, I don't want this man in my house. He knows that he's not allowed in my house. He knows. And she's saying it with, you know, that snare, like, you know, he knows. So they sit outside, right? They take chairs. Now it's going to, now it's, okay, Granisa decided to stand in some corner because you know how men create situations and then they remove themselves from it as if, you know, they were not part of it in the beginning. And then you had Uchuba, 
um Samantha and then Umam Tun. Guys. I think Umam Tun has reached that point where she's allowed all of this to happen to her. So that she can reach a point where if she leaves, she knows she's not coming back. I don't know if you've been in those situations where you allow the disrespect to continue. Because if you leave prematurely, um, you're going to be on the other side, you know, out of the relationship thinking maybe I should have stayed a little longer. Um, you know, you're easily persuaded to come back. You know, if it's just one thing, it's like, okay, maybe if he just calls you and, you know, texts you, it's like, okay, I can. But if you allow yourself to be disrespected so much, then it's not just the one thing. It's so many things. It's so many things. And you allow the disrespect to continue till you get to a point where you can now leave physically. Sometimes you don't even need to have an exit plan. You know, there are some men that you, you, they just do too much. Where you just, you just tell yourself that, you know what, I don't even need an exit plan. I just want to leave. Like, it's enough. So I think Mam Tunu has reached that stage. Girl is like, you know what? Uh, I'm an, uh, I'm an. You know when you reach that, uh, I'm an stage, where you're like, uh, I'm an. So she's there. Right? Later on, after now, Mam Tunu hears from the horse's mouth that Kona Nisa could possibly because that's also not confirmed. If you're able to sleep with your cousin's husband, you can sleep with anyone. Right? So, could possibly, Gordonisa could possibly be the father of her child. After she heard that from the horse's mouth. Um, it's, a, it's a different kind of woman that stood up there, I believe. That from there, Umam Tukun became a different kind of woman. She went into the car, sat there, she, she minds her own business. She's like, you know what, I'm done. I'm, I'm just, I'm done. Later on in the day, Kona Nisa comes, gay, to visit. And he says, oh, Mam Tunu, you, I mean, you haven't visited me. Guys. <laughs> eh? Kona Nisa now comes in, visiting Mam Tunu. And he's like, why, ha why haven't you, you come and, you know, see me in a while? And I'm there thinking, so you don't want to acknowledge what you're putting us in. You don't want to acknowledge the situation that you're putting us in. Mom Tunu, guys, the way she's at a fine thanks point, she's like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. It's almost like if you're going to pretend to not know, then let's continue pretending I'm out of the situation. Anyway, I don't, you know, when a woman doesn't even want an explanation because you will know, you will know if a woman still wants to stay, you will know why, because they also want to talk. They also want this and so on and that. But the minute this a woman says like, dude, like, I, I don't even want you to tell me <laughs> the reason why I don't even want an explanation from you. Then you should know. She doesn't even need closure. Imagine. A woman that doesn't even need, like she's that fed up that she doesn't even need closure. She doesn't even need to know why, when, how. You know what made me, I was, I was actually shocked. What made me like sit on my chair like that, right? Was seeing Umam Tunu <laughs> open the door to chase a man. And she literally was like, you know what? Go, boom. And I think by that time, he had come the second time because he visited her the first time and she didn't want to have a conversation. The second time, she's like, please get out. You know when you stand up to open the door for someone to leave? That's what happened. That's... <laughs> I'm here for Mam Tunu, guys. I mean, I personally, I'm here for Mam Tunu. Cheating men deserve nothing. 
Like, you know, there's a certain level of disrespect in cheating that is so low that, you know, I can't, I can't recover from it. I can't recover from it. So big ups to Mam Kunu. Um, comment in the comment section what you thought about this episode. But as for Mina, I'm at that hey banda. Hey banda. Hey banda. While a man is being escorted out, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love you lots.